guys, my name is Sub-Zero Extabyte and I am having a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, and if not yet hope you are going to have a fantastic day. But I think I know a certain way how I can make your day fantastic, and that is what we are going to do right now. Because we are going to build a machine that is going to mine for us. We all know how boring it is to mine on a straight line well. Not anymore Chip and I are going to make a machine. Well more straight line mining machines that will do the dirty work for us. So let's get to it shall we. In this beautiful day. It's a perfect day to swim but we don't have time for that. We need to get mining yes sir. I have a really large flat area where all of you could build and stuff and it would just be nice if we all had little cozy houses. And this is all going to be nice. My house is not really that advanced I really just want a little cozy house. I don't really want to have an advanced house with all kinds of things and such. I am just going to have a little cozy house and this is just going to be really nice. I am standing still here because I am calculating how this house is going to look. And I just saw that this house will look simplistically amazing. But yeah, I am looking at it in my mind and I just know that this is going to look like a little wooden plank block with the door. But it will be nice. You guys just have to trust me right now. It is all going to look just great. Don't even worry. But the roof is almost done and it is not an advanced roof. It is just a nice flat roof and it is just nice. And that is just amazing. But it is now done and now it looks really nice and it is just amazing like this. We just need a door and then the outside is all done and it looks just great. So, we are just going to have this really nice little thing and it is just going to be amazing on the inside as it is from the outside. We hang some light and it already looks really cozy. We need a couple cozy light holder things, also known as torches, and my OCD was killing me when our door was more to the left than to the right so we are going to have a double door in this small house. Yeah you heard it right I am also a simple man and I like the double door technique as well as other people like that. So, we have this cozy little house now that is all done only the furniture part needs to be implemented and when we have nice furniture then the entire house will be done and then we won't need any other stuff anymore. And you guys might think, why is sub standing still so much now and then? Well that is because my brain is processing how this house is going to look before I do something to it. And I thought in my head like what is it going to look like with these flat wide windows. And my head was like, go for it sub, it will look amazing. So, when my mind tells me that it is going to look great then I believe that it will look great and then I make it great and then it actually is great, so that is really nice. And don't you guys think that these windows look great, with the natural lighting and stuff. And these crafting tables. We need a lot of crafting tables. That is why we are making this video. I am going to show all of you cool crafting recipes and it is all going to be amazing, but I don't really like the coziness with the torches, instead we need more crafting tables. You can never have enough crafting tables, trust me. And now we have a lot of crafting tables and it is even smaller and how smaller your house how cozier your house. And we just don't have enough crafting tables so we need to expand and the floor is a great beginning with expanding with more crafting tables. Yes even more than there are right now. And yes, that is really necessary and now we are going to place a lot of crafting tables in the roof and from down here inside of the house you can't even see that they are crafting tables, but from the side and from on top of the roof you could probably see that those are crafting tables. Yeah, I was right. And we don't really need to have the roof look really great or anything so we are just going to leave it like this. We have a flat roof so no one will see that it is even made out of crafting tables. So we are good with that. But now I am just taking some stuff that was also back in my day stuff. And I am going to make even more stuff with all of that stuff. So it is going to be amazing stuff. And you guys are going to be like wow did they have that in the old days as well. And then I am going to be like yeah of course. It was amazing the old days. You didn't have no submarine bases with those weird guardian fish and stuff. It was just the most simple thing ever and it was just great. And now we have some stuff and it is going to turn into something amazing in one of these crafting tables that I have. I have enough so I don't really need to choose. Well I need to choose but it doesn't really matter which one I take. But we need three wood plank things. One iron, a shield and some magenta wool. Three magentas to be exact. And then you need to make it like I am making it right now. And you need the iron right there and then nothing shows up. But back in the days you could have a colored shield and then the shield was just amazing. And you could have different clans or whatever and then the one clan would have the color magenta just like us. And a clan that wasn't really that keen on pink would have green or something like that. 
and then you could tell who your teammates were and it was just amazing. But we have now just a showcase to all of you guys at home. I pretended that I created that shield but it isn't in the game anymore so you can't really craft that shield anymore. But anyways we are going to craft a whole bunch of old things that old people would craft on Minecraft back in the days. Some call it the golden days but some call it not the golden days. There is so much new stuff in Minecraft if you compare the very old ones to the newest one right now. But I am going to take you all on a trip to back in the original Minecraft stuff. And those were the golden ages as I said to some. I enjoyed those days but these days are just too amazing. They are able to implement so much new stuff and things that people had never thought of. And that is something that is just wonderful. But I am just searching for that one thing and I just can't find it. Wait no hold up I am just going to continue searching. It must be around here somewhere. But I will find it eventually. We just need to keep our hopes up to what we are searching which is still a surprise for you guys. What is Sub going to do with 3 iron and mystery items? Well I am not sure either mate but you are going to see in just a couple of seconds. Don't worry. Wait Sub just took even more iron. Don't tell anyone guys but I am taking the stuff that I need and you guys will see. If you needed to craft something really quick then you don't have to search a crafting table in your huge house. But you can just walk to any wall that you have and like just go into the crafting table. And it would even be a big crafting table so that would be extra nice. But this one is coming along pretty nicely and it is pretty huge but that is good because the bigger it is the more things we can craft and the bigger things we can craft I guess. It could use some more height but I don't think that would affect the table. But I am not sure so let's just go ahead and turn this thing into a tower. I can build 4 blocks high up so that is also really nice. And we should be done in to time with this thing, and then we could like in. The tower makes some windows at the top and then we could be Rapunzel and then we would let down our hair and then all off the sudden people will visit my tower and then they would also use my crafting table and then I would become a local thing that is really popular and I don't have any problems with that so go ahead if you guys want to do that. I will let my hair down and you guys can climb to the top and I will be there waiting and we would have a good time. And we could maybe order some subway or something like that and then we could like relax and eat some food and then our time got a whole lot better all of a sudden. But have you guys ever had cookies at the subway? Well if you haven't then you are really missing out on something. They're like $1.50 or something like that. And they consist out of like 220 calories per cookie but it is totally worth it because those things are amazing. By far the best cookie I have ever had in my life. And I ate some cookies in my life. I am like a mini cookie monster but I know what I am talking about so just go with my instinct and try one of those amazing cookies once if you have the chance. Because it will change your life and your tongue will melt together with the chocolate in the cookie. Well that is if you take chocolate chip but that is up to you which one you take. They are all pretty amazing so just look at them and decide for yourself which one looks the best. And just take that one and then you will have no regrets and you can mark my words on that one. I really like those cookies and if ever anyone would bring me one of those cookies then you will automatically be my friend. That is just how it goes with those cookies. They are just the best. Also Jersey Mike's I don't know if you guys know that but they have some amazing cookies as well. They are sprinkled with Hershey's chocolate which is also like one of the best. So yeah by all means. When I am done with this amazing looking tower that is made out of crafting tables entirely then if you have the chance and you remember then go to your local subway or something and try one of those cookies. This is no sponsor or anything but it will change your way of thinking. But hey what is this one that is? That? Wait what? Yeah. I am not sure either but that is okay. I am not sure how big this tower is going to be. But it is already pretty darn big so I think that you can craft a lot of things already and it is pretty nice that you can just do this and that made my day. And I hope it made your day as well. But we are almost done trust me. Or are we? I am not sure but we could make this thing even bigger if we wanted to. I have crafting tables enough so let's just proceed to make this baby higher in height. And I hope that it will look even better because it looked kind of shabby when I was just standing at the ground and I let my eye get a glance of this amazingness. But that is okay because we are just improving it like this and that is nice. It will get bigger by every minute and that is amazing that something like that is possible and yeah. Well this thing is going to be huge. I am sure that you guys have heard of the Eiffel Tower. Well this thing is going to blow it away. And what should we call it? Well that guy that made the Eiffel Tower is probably named Mr. Eiffel with his last name so I think that we should call this the sub tower that would only make sense. 
We could call it the Sub-Zero Extra Bike Tower but that would be too long. We could also just call it the Sub-Zero Extra Tower but then we are missing the bite and that is not nice. And like Sub-Zero Tower sounds pretty nice so that is also a possibility. And I think that I like the Sub-Zero Tower the best and I think that I will just go with that. It sounds pretty amazing so let's just name it that. And it is already taking shape as a tower so we can really start calling it a tower. But from the ground off it is not really that big. Not in height. In height, it is pretty high up but we need to make it expand a bit. I am not really that happy with how it looks. So we need to make it bigger. Not vertically but horizontally and this is going to be amazing when it is done. It will be the biggest thing that you guys have ever seen. Like the Statue of Liberty will be nothing compared to the Sub-Zero Tower. Or should we call it something else than a tower? No that is not smart it is a tower so let's just stick with it because I like towers and this is actually a tower so that is nice. And it is going to be a tower. I am sure of that one. But now we just need to fill in the middle of the tower and I am not sure how it will look when it is done but I am sure that it will look great and this is going to be great and it will be nice. And it will not only be nice but it will be big as well. And I am sure that if I give you the coordinates and you guys go on Google Earth or something like that. I don't know if there are many other things like that. And I still don't know the difference with Google Earth and Google Maps. But that is okay. Go on either of those two and then just look up Sub Tower. It will probably come up with nothing because they don't update that often, but it should be there in a couple of months or something like that, so that is nice and then I will be on Google Maps, well I will not but my masterpiece will though, so that is pretty cool. But now it is not really a tower anymore but it is starting to shape like something greater than that, but that is okay because it still looks really cool. And we will get all of the tourists here and then we would have a good time here and then like all of the tourists would like to get ordered a cup of coffee or something and I will make a little restaurant down here, because I am sure that this will be heavily visited by a lot of tourists and also locals. But I am not sure if I want to fill up this entire thing, you aren't really able to see it from the outside and it will be a lot of work basically for nothing. And we already filled up the original tower so I don't know if it would be really that necessary to fill up this other part of the tower as well. It would be cool if we did but I am not sure if I want to take the time to do all of that because it is going to require a lot of time. But maybe we could just live here or something that would also be pretty cool if I do say so. And I do say so. Well, yeah it is going to be pretty cool. But that is okay, there are a lot of things that are cool so this won't be like something special. But the thing that will be special is that this thing is made out of crafting tables and it is one of the biggest things that exists so this is pretty special if I do say so myself. But I am pretty sure that I want to turn this thing into one huge square tower and not like three squares placed against each other like we just had, but we are going to make it a bit different and that will make it really cool and stuff and it will totally rock. But I am not sure how big this thing will get when we are actually done with this tower, because well, if you look at it right now then it is actually already pretty darn big, and we are going to make it a whole lot bigger with adding this part to the tower as well, so this will be really cool. But we only totally finished only one tower, but that is okay. We could finish these other three towers but that is not necessary so we are just not going to do that and we will keep it in open space and we could like live there we could turn one part into the thing that we wanted to turn into a restaurant and then the people that are going to visit this thing will then be able to say that they actually ate inside of the infamous Sub-Zero Tower and that is something that not a whole lot of people are able to say so those people will feel special and you should always treat people special so that is what we are going to do. But I am not yet sure if I really want a restaurant here, because that is going to start a whole lot of other things that will lead to other stuff which is not really that amazing. But this thing is now done from the outside and I think I feel generous enough to even fill this original part with even more crafting tables and it will look really amazing I am sure of that but it doesn't really affect a whole lot of things because well... It is going to just change the inside of the tower but the outside you won't be able to see it so I don't think that it will be a whole lot of a big change but yeah it is really nice and stuff. And I hope that it will change at least the crafting possibility so that is going to be something that I will look forward to and that is something that is nice. Just like this tower that is going to be really nice when it is finally done. But that is for today guys I hope you enjoyed the whole video because from now you can use this machine to do the mining for you. I hope to see you in the next video. See you later.